What is up, everyone? It is Corrupted Area One here, and today, episode two of my Draft Champion series. Um, today's stipulation, if you will, is I have to go with the middle only, no left, or right, down, up. Even though there's no down or up, I have to go middle only. No matter how bad the player is, I have to pick him. Turn out with Ken Wisenhunt as my coach. I really hope I don't miss anything good. Let's hope I get a good start here, and let's see what we get first round. And we get a legend, Jeff Saturday. Let's go! Now, uh, I honestly probably would have picked Gronk here because Gronk is just unstoppable, especially in my matching my uh, play style. This is a fire first round. Let's go, Jeff Saturday. I'll take it. I don't mind taking a legend first round over Watt and Gronk. And I'll take uh, Lewin here in the second round. He is a campus hero, and all the campus hero players are amazing. I probably would have gone with Robinson here if I had the choice, just because he's a great running back. But I don't really mind that, taking a left tackle in Lewin. And we get already our second center in Jason Kelsey. I hate you, Jason Kelsey. I'm not just kidding. Um, he'll probably move to one of the guard positions. We get to Queez Denard. Let's go. Again, a campus hero card, and it is a great, great cornerback. Really good bang for your buck player here. And, um... I really don't mind this. I probably would have gone with Graham if I had the choice, but I'll take Denard. And, and we get Ayers, Ayers so here. Um, I would probably pick Major Wright if I had the choice, but anyway, Ayers left end. We have that D line. We get Kobe Fleener tight end again. I like, I love these campus hero cards. If you give me a team of campus heroes, I'll take it. Um, tight end there, Kobe Fleener, and we get back to back tight ends, Vernon Davis. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin's probably the best card here. Um, I don't like Tannehill as a quarterback. I'll take Vernon Davis. Now I have the two weapons at tight end. And we get Jordy Nelson, let's go. Oh, he needs a quarterback. Man, our offense gets getting set here. Jordy Nelson, my receiver, that's a great card. And we get Chandler Jones right end here. Um... Dominic Easley is also uh, also also a good card, um, especially campus heroes. Joe Flacco is Joe Flacco, so you're not really missing anything much there. And um, yeah, I mean Chandler Jones all easily matches my play style. Jones is probably what I would have ended up picking here, just because I like Chandler Jones as a player and to play with. And we get Cameron Wake. No, his stats are complete garbage. Um, Calvin Pryor is probably my pick on this page. Matches my style. He's a fast safety. He's a ball hawking safety too. Mal Davis isn't bad. Pryor is the best card here. And um, I don't know what, why is this Cameron Wake an 88 when his stats are awful. It's because he has one high stat, um, I guess. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead here and take Cameron away because I don't really have a choice. That's my second left end even, too. That sucks. And we get Mike Tolbert. I got excited when I saw that 90 and then I saw fullback. And I was like, why? But, um, I'll take it, Mike Tolbert, 90, fullback. It's not bad. We get Ted Ginn. I don't, I love this Ted Ginn card. He's great stats. I'd probably take Aaron Foster there. Um, two solid wide receivers. And we get Chris Johnson. <gasps> oh, where do you oh go my there? God. This is a great draft. Chris Johnson. Flashback Johnson's a great oh, no card. My God. Right and Vontae is perfect. This is where one round I wish I could not pick middle because I hate Vontae's perfect. He's just a dirty player. And, oh my God. Jason Taylor. The one non 98. Are you kidding me? Come on! I would so pick Lawrence Taylor. Oh, Taylor. Why? Why? Why my screen so dark? There we go. Taylor isn't bad. He's my third left end, though. So I'm going to have two D tackles who are actually left ends. But um, it's not that bad, in all honesty. We get an 81, which isn't that great. Um, it isn't bad though. And let's take a look at the lineup here and what they set up for us. So we got Saturday at center. We have basically nothing else in the O line except for, you know, Kelsey moving to left guard and Lewin taking up that left tackle spot. So we're going to be running the ball with Johnson on the left side. Um, tight end, we got Vernon Davis. 
And they moved... Where's my third... Oh, they put Fleener at their wide receiver three, okay. Ted Ginn, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, Jordy Nelson, Tolbert at fullback, E.J. Manuel and Blake Bortles at quarterback, which isn't really that bad. And we got fire Chris Johnson at halfback. And on the defensive side, we got... Um, on the linebacker side, we got Vontaze Burford at right, right outside linebacker. We didn't get any safeties, which kind of sucks. We got um, a D tackle. We have uh, Chandler Jones moving over. We got Ayers moving over. It leaves us Taylor and Wake on the ends, which is actually really, really solid. Um, when it comes to corners, though, kind of weak. Um, I had one corner, and this is a special team. It's looking like Chris Johnson, third down running back, and Ted Ginn kick return are amazing. Um... I don't have any kickers, so again, only to only to Queens Denard at corner, which isn't that great, but can't complain. So thank you guys so much for watching this Draft Champions video. If you do enjoy my Draft Champions videos, I do ask that you like them and subscribe for more. If we get five likes in this video, I'll post a gameplay. Actually, no, let's make it ten likes, guys. We have been getting, getting so close to five. Let's make it ten. Ten likes, gameplay goes up with this team. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below any other ideas. Subscribe for more.